Saudi Arabia's military is on high alert after deadly clashes with Yemen's Iran-backed Houthi rebels. I want to bring our, our reporter out of Riyadh, Sam Dagger, joins me on the program. Sam, a pleasure to have you. Walk us through what actually happened in Saudi Arabia. Why do we care when we're paying attention to the Israel-Hamas war? Absolutely. Good morning to you and your viewers. Uh, basically, I mean, before all of this, uh, there was a, a, a tentative truce in place between Saudi Arabia and the Houthi rebels who are backed by Iran in neighboring Yemen. And Saudi Arabia was actually holding direct negotiations with the Houthis uh, to forge a permanent ceasefire and end uh, this war that started eight years ago when Saudi Arabia went in to restore the you know, the internationally recognized government of Yemen that was ousted by the Houthis. And then obviously everything changed on October 7th when Hamas attacked Israel. Uh, you had uh, the Houthi leader uh, a few days later come out and make a speech in which he uh, praised Hamas, uh, identified himself as part of the so-called axis of resistance uh, that's backed by Iran. These are different uh, militia groups in the region that are backed by Iran and said that he would uh, uh, do everything to help Hamas. He said all military options were being considered, particularly if the U.S. Uh, steps in and supports Israel. And then on October 19th, the Houthis fired a, a barrage of cruise missiles and drones uh, northward uh, into the direction of Israel. And uh, a lot of these were intercepted by a U.S. destroyer in the Red Sea, and one of these missiles was inter intercepted by Saudi defenses, but the Saudis did not disclose this. And then we yeah. had last week, you know, the classes in which four Saudi soldiers were killed. And at the moment, we have the Saudi defense minister, Khalid bin Salman, in Washington, a meeting with U.S. officials, and obviously all of this top of the agenda.